Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be covering all of the S Pen Bluetooth remote settings and functions for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And then come on back tomorrow where we will be finishing the rest of everything you need to know about the S Pen inside of the advanced features. This is where I will be teaching you all of the settings and features as well as some hidden tips and tricks dealing with the S Pen. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And also don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top so you can check out all the rest of the videos I've shot so far for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now the S Pen does have a small battery inside. It will last you up to 30 minutes or 200 clicks of that S Pen button. But once the battery is depleted and it's dead and it's showing 0%, you still are able to use the S Pen with the every Day use that everybody is used to, which is the air view. You also have air command, you have direct pen input. It's a way that the S Pen interacts with the screen either by touching it or hovering above. Now, let's say that you do want to know about a little bit of the charging of the S Pen. Now, once this thing does go down to 0%, you place the S Pen inside of the device all the way and it'll charge all the way up to 100% within 40 seconds. So, how about we head over to the features that you're probably most curious about, and that is the S Pen Bluetooth remote. But one thing to note, is that over here you can see that the phone's Bluetooth is turned off. So let's say that you don't want your phone to be connected to your car, house, or speakers, but you still would like the S Pen Bluetooth remote features to still work, they actually will. So with the Bluetooth turned off on the phone, if I press and hold on the S Pen button, it will still launch the camera. And if you double click it, it'll switch it to the selfie mode. And if I click it once, it'll take a picture. Now when you get your phone, there's probably two things I would suggest you do, and that is going over to the very top, changing your button grid over to the five by three, so you have more icons on the very first page for your quick settings. The other one is actually by clicking again on the very top right hand side and clicking the button order. Because what happened is this Bluetooth S Pen remote features was actually on the second page. And so with it sitting over here, you might wanna be able to turn this thing on or turn it off or just make sure that it is actually turned on. So place it over to the first page for your quick settings. So in this way you'd be able to use all of these features. As we're still within this quick settings, I do wanna let you know that if you do press and hold on an icon, it'll take you directly inside of the full details and the full settings of what you'd like to get into. But if you tap on the word, it'll be a quick little view, but since there's not much you can really do with the S Pen quick view, you'd be able to hit on details and it shows everything else. But what was to happen if you were to basically turn that off? Now you just turned off the S Pen Bluetooth remote functions. And if you were to turn it right back on, it'll let you know that you have to still reconnect your S Pen. So once you open this up, it'll say that it is disconnected. And all you'd have to do, again, simply place your S Pen inside the phone, it will connect. And not only is it connecting, but it's also recharging it back up to 100% and once it says available then you are connected. Now within the main menu of the S Pen Bluetooth remote, this gives you everything on where you're able to toggle on or turn off, what happens if you're to be in different applications, what happens if you do a single press, what happens when you do the double press, and also what happens when you do the press and hold and what application does it open up. So originally when you get it out of the box, it will open up the camera, but let's say that you want it to open something else. So if you take a lot of notes, you are able to make it to where it's going to create a note. So if I was to press and hold on the button, now it'll open up that application. And just so you know as well too, this will open up third party applications. So if you're somebody who uses uh, maybe Alexa a lot or maybe go on Facebook a lot, you are able to do a little press and hold and it'll open up that application for you. Now below that we'll have all of the application actions. Now there will be more applications added to this as you keep on downloading more applications to your device and you just want to think of this thing as a Bluetooth remote. What would happen inside of any application if there's a play or pause or a previous or next? This will also yes work with any type of music applications such as Amazon Music or or if you use the, the Samsung Music application and even YouTube. Now inside the camera or gallery or voice recorder, you can choose what you want it to do. Now more applications or different applications will have more options. So camera has four different options. And as example for voice recorder, it only has two. So now let's say that you're inside of a different application where there is a single press or double press action, but you would like to change it without going all the way back over into the S Pen Bluetooth remote settings. So let's say that one of those applications is the camera. Right over here is the air command. Now, if you hover the S Pen over that little circle, what will happen is it'll let you know what is the single press and double press actions. If you'd like to change it, all you have to simply do is open up that air command, and this is where you can change it on the very bottom of the application. So let's say that we head over to a different application, and I'll show you another example. So now we're watching a video on YouTube, and I'm going to show you an example of what I mean by you're able to change what the actions does. So you can see here when you hover over that air command, it'll say what happens when you do a single press or a double press, but when you click on the air command, this is where you're able to change it. So if you'd like it to 
play pause the track or play the next track or do nothing. Those are your three options for single press and double press. So I believe that's pretty much all of the settings that we're able to go over with the S Pen Bluetooth remote, which is this main home page of the S Pen Bluetooth settings, which is by pressing and holding on the S Pen remote. Also, we did cover everything. If you were to hover over this air command or if you're inside of a application, let's say that you're checking out a gallery, what happens when you hit on the air command? And then you can also change all of the S Pen actions for the gallery as well. So I believe that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys do want to learn a little bit more about some of these other S Pen features, since this one is inside of air command, I will be going through all all of these in a separate video so it's not crazy long so i hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up also don't forget to hit on subscribe if you have not subscribed already it's this big little red circle right over here on the very bottom left hand side click that also hit on the bell for notifications so you get notified of all my future videos for the galaxy note 9 share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and outside of that i'll see you guys later <laughs>